Hey there everybody, welcome back to Fly Tying for Beginners. Uh, my name is David, this is lesson six, and today we are gonna be tying probably one of the most famous uh, patterns in the history of fly fishing. We're gonna be tying a woolly bugger. For that, you're going to need, I'm using a size eight uh, streamer or nymph hook. Gonna need a section of uh, 0.20 uh, lead wire, black saddle hackle, black marabou, as always our bobbin holder and bobbin of thread, black again. Gonna need your scissors, your dubbing needle, some fly head cement, and also this one's optional. I prefer to use black chenille. Some people use black dubbing to make the body of it. You'll see where that comes into play later on, but you can either use black dubbing if you have it or chenille if you have it. Either one's perfectly uh, perfectly acceptable. They're tied both ways all the time. I just personally prefer the chenille because uh, I use this to go bass fishing quite a bit. And the bass hit pretty hard. Um, so the dubbing can kind of pull away uh, after you know a couple of fish. The chenille kind of is able to hold on to its own after, uh, after quite a few relatively vicious hits because this fly really does work really well. All right, so we're gonna get right into it. And actually, normally, we start by tying off our thread. Not this time. This time we're actually going to wrap the hook in our piece of lead wire first. And what this lead wire will do is this, uh, it weights the hook and it helps it to sink faster. So the more lead wire you put on here, the faster this bad boy is going to sink. I fish fairly deep, you know, southern reservoirs. Um, and things like that. We really don't have a lot of streams around here or anything. So I wrap almost the entire hook shank and wire because I, I want this to sink relatively quickly. You can see I'm putting them where the wraps are right there on top of each other. No real gaps. Just as if you were tying in your thread, you're going to treat the lead wire the exact same way that you would treat a thread. I'm going to go almost all the way down to the bend of the hook can use your scissors to cut this. It's relatively soft. It's just soft lead. If you are going to use them though, use the base of your scissors. Uh, they're just a little bit, uh, there's more leverage there at the base. So it makes it a little bit easier to cut. Kind of poke your ends down there. You see, I probably wrapped about half to maybe two thirds of the shank of the hook in wire. Now back to our usual, we're going to tie in our thread. and trim our excess. And then you're gonna make a few wraps going over the lead wire. Some of it'll go, some of your thread will go down in between some of the wraps of the wire. That's what you want. That helps keep it all in place. And then you're gonna build up a little body of thread right here at the end. That last bit of the shank of the hook before you get to the actual bend of your hook, you're gonna build up a little bit of thread base there because that's going to help you to tie stuff in. Speaking of tying in, our first tie in is going to be our piece of black marabou. So you're going to want to tie that right there at the base of the lead. Trim off this excess here. Then our next move is to tie in our black chenille right on top of where you just tied in the marabou. Couple of wraps to secure that. Trim off our excess. Next step is to go ahead and tie in our uh, black saddle hackle. You see it's a relatively big feather. You're really only gonna need about this much here. So if you want to make it a little bit easier to tie in, you can go ahead and trim that a little bit. Tie it in. Trim whatever excess you do still have left. Just get a little bit of feathers all over the place, but that's okay. All right, now we're gonna separate our chenille from our hackle. Actually, first, sorry about that. Gonna move our thread up to the eye of the hook, or actually right in front of this uh, lead 
wraps that we've got and we're going to make ourselves a nice little thread body there. All right, now we're going to take our chenille and we're going to start to wrap that around. This is going to be forming the body of the fly. So you want it fairly compact and tight loops, no real gaps or anything in between it. All the way up towards the eye of the hook, tie it off, a couple nice solid wraps there, and then trim your excess. Then you're going to take your, so uh, your saddle hackle and start to wrap it. You're going to want to make about four to five passes around the hook moving your way up to the eye of the hook so they really don't need to be very tight wraps on themselves you're just kind of making sure that it's you're basically just moving it up to the eye of the hook so that you can tie it in and it'll give you some gaps in between here but it's still going to be plenty of uh, plenty of feathers sticking out to move the water out of the way and cause a whole bunch of commotion as you're going through uh, with your retrieve Finish it off with either a whip finish or the half hitches, whichever you prefer. About between three or four half hitches there to finish it off. Trim your thread. Take your fly head cement and your dubbing needle. Apply a drop of fly head cement right there to the top there to just help make sure that knot's not going to come undone. If you'd like, you can trim some of this off here. I personally, I like it kind of kind of big. This is a little bit long though. And you go to about right there. Oh, we still got plenty of feather coming off there at the back, but it's not so much that it's gonna foul up, uh, foul up your hook or anything like that. Plenty of motion, plenty of water movement, all that kind of stuff. There you go, it's a black woolly bugger. You can tie that in green or olive like i said if you're going to do you know different colors obviously use either a green or an olive dubbing or a green or an olive chenille it's completely up to you uh tires preference fantastic uh pattern like i said the more lead that you put on your hook shank though the faster it is going to sink so you're either going to need a, a quicker retrieve if you're going to put more lead on there or you're going to need to be in fairly deep waters where you're not going to automatically just go straight to the bottom and get fouled up on any you know sticks or logs or weeds or anything that's going to be down there at the bottom so know what kind of waters you're going to be throwing this in and wrap your lead appropriately to help weight it correctly please like and subscribe to my channel if you enjoy my videos uh once you subscribe you'll get you know the first updates as soon as i put out new videos and things like that more videos are going to be coming like i said this is going to be about a 10 to 15 uh pattern series is what I'm thinking uh, right now that I'm going to make it. If you've got suggestions for patterns that you'd like to see me tie, leave them down in the comments. I'd love to hear from you. And as always, thank you very much for watching and happy fishing.